Once again, violence has broken out in the Mideast between Israel and the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. Although a ceasefire seems to be holding, more violence can certainly be expected. Bob Scheibel, the executive director of Main Voices for Palestinian Rights, talked with Tom about some of the reasons behind the conflict. Bob, thanks for joining us. My uh, pleasure. We want to talk about what's happening most recently in, in Gaza. But before we do, um, could you describe a little bit for those people who might not already be aware of your organization, what is Main Voices for Palestinian Rights? Uh, yes, Main Voices for Palestinian Rights is now about two years old. It morphed out of an earlier organization called Main Peace and Justice in Israel-Palestine. And our primary aim is to um, promote Palestinian rights, and we do that largely by education. We're trying to educate the public here in Maine about the um, parts of this conflict that they generally don't hear about in the mainstream medium press, unlike CTN. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so uh, one of the things that you brought up is the most recent attacks in Gaza and you know what started this, how this come about, what is it all about? Yeah, I, that, that's a, a very good question. What we hear over and over again from our president, from Mr. Netanyahu, and repeated faithfully by much of our press is that, well, the, Israel's been so patient for the last four years since Operation Cash Lead, and yet they've had X number of thousands, I hear 6,000, 8,000, 10,000 rockets that have been fired into Israel. So they have a right to defend themselves. Well, when you phrase it, put it that way, of course they do. Who, who, who could not be on Israel's side with this? But there's a context here, and a lot of times pro-Israel apologists, they they want you to think that history always started with the firing of rockets by uh, people in Gaza. Well, since the Cap Operation Cast Lead four years ago, four years ago, 08 and 09, um, Israel has made on average six attacks on Gaza per week. Um, sometimes they're by gunships firing in, sometimes they're by helicopters, sometimes they're by troops making incursions into Gaza. Um, Israel has also, in the last four years, been conducting a really horrible blockade of Gaza to the point that they cannot get materials in there to uh, repair their wastewater treatment. They therefore have 90%, 90 to 95% of their drinking water is polluted. They can, it's non-drinkable. Israel has a um, up to 1,500 meter buffer zone inside of Gaza, right around the border. What, what does this do? Well, that accounts for 35% of Gaza's farmland. And I could go on, well, let me just give you one more. Israel has called off limits 85% of Gaza's fishing lanes. In other words, Oslo said if Gazans could fish out to 20 nautical miles. Israel has said, no, you can only fish out three nautical miles. Well, what Israel's doing is gradually strangling the Gazan economy. So there is, and, and a, a siege like this is really an act of war. But on top of that siege have been these average of six attacks on Gaza a week. So it is not just that out of the clear blue, here's Israel patiently waiting and being fair to the Gazans, and then the Gazans are just keep firing rockets at them. It, that is just not the story. And, and the other side of things, and you were mentioning that you appreciate the fact that uh, Jews have been persecuted oh, for thousands of years. Absolutely, themselves. absolutely. And that, that, that's the biggest context here. 2,000 years of persecution, expulsion from countries, um, killing, burning entire ghettos living li uh, in which Jews live. But there's something interesting about that story. That persecution has been carried out largely by European and North American Christians, not Palestinian Christians and Muslims. In a way, Europe and America felt so guilty after World War II that they felt a need to make it up to the Jews of the world, understandable. But they've asked the Palestinians to pay the price for the wrong that they did for 2,000 years. This is such a huge topic. It, it could go mm -hmm. on for a long time, and you've got a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Where can people get more information about what you're doing and what you're all about? 
Well, they can go to um, mvprights.org, which is our website, and on that they will see information on how to contact me. There's an email address there which will come to me. I don't think my name's on it, but it'll come to me. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.